morning everybody well it is just about morning i think it's um yeah 10 to 12. it is ve day it is 75 years since the end of world war ii so today is supposed to be you know a national celebration and for obvious reasons it's um it's not as big i mean there's lots on the tv about it which is lovely I got up this morning and I made some bunting and I should have vlogged it, but I've only literally just decided to vlog. <laughs> so I've done my bit. I did my uh, one minute silence at 11 o'clock. I feel very emotional today. And I think it's because of everything that's going on at the moment and we can't just be normal and celebrate, you know, these national days as we should be doing. And some of these veterans it might be their last ever VE day and it's not much of a celebration for them but uh, we all just have to get on with it don't we anyway so 11 o'clock was the silence we've had the red arrows fly over London 12 30 there's supposed to be a spitfire somewhere whether we see it or not I don't know I think at about three o'clock people are supposed to be sitting in their gardens having afternoon tea obviously I won't be doing that because I don't have a garden <laughs> I don't have any afternoon tea which is if you don't know scones sweet scones um, whipped cream or clotted cream and jam. It's um, a traditional British thing to do with, obviously, with tea. This, this is one of my big buntings. So I've got two of these I'm going to put in my bedroom window. I'm going to put them on the inside and the other ones are hanging outside the window and they look quite cool. I'm really pleased with them. Got the paint brushes out this morning. <laughs> did, my, uh, did my painting, look at the mess, did my painting. So I'm very pleased with myself. I'm glad that I'm showing support and solidarity and hopefully people will see it and appreciate it. Right, let's get these onto the window. Now call me crazy, but Pop Pop's just come in and she's on the bed and I kind of think she deserves a little VE day crown. <laughs> How cute is this? Let's go put it on her head. I got a present for you. It's a VE day crown to go on your head. Shall we put it on your head? Celebrate. Oh, it's very nice. It's very nice. You see it between the ears. Look, it's all pretty. She doesn't look very impressed. <laughs> Didn't like that then. I popped it on her ear. It's uh, it stays. <laughs> Look how cute. Look how cute with her little crown. Little pretty day crown. Yoga's done. Tick. So I am now cooking some lunch. It is far too late for lunch. Well, it's two o'clock. It's not that bad actually for me. So I'm having a boiled egg and a bagel. And I think that's it. And then I'm going to go out for a walk, soak up some of this sunshine. I'm just going to go around the block, look at the houses, see if there's any decorations, because that'd be quite nice to see. So that's what we're going to do. That's the plan. The plan, Stan. Right, I'm ready for my walk. I've got uh, 
dressed. Was I dressed before? I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, put a little bit of makeup on, you know, so I don't scare people off. Got my sunnies. So, yeah, let's go and see what we can see. Wake up, honey, I made you breakfast. Fresh coffee and bagels, too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys. I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a very lot of fun. Growing up is just a trap. Just a bit fat trail. I take pride in ever working that day. Can't see the use of it anyway. Who can think I'm such a lord of crowd? Growing up is just a trail. Absolutely roasting out there. I didn't realise it was quite so hot. It's so, it's quite something in England to be ho too hot for jeans, and today is too hot for jeans. Just done three miles. There were some houses with bunting and and stuff, and there were some people sitting outside. It's a shame, isn't it? Because you'd kind of think that because of what's happening, you'd have more of a community because people have been helping each other out and you know making sure everybody's okay. You would have thought people would sort of get together a bit more especially on a day like today but there's there's uh, there's pockets there's pockets around my village of people sitting out in the gardens and and um some had some really lovely music playing nightingale sang in Barclay square and we'll meet again and all that sort of stuff so that was really nice yeah it's not as much going on as i thought there would be but maybe i don't know yeah maybe it goes the other way if we're all isolating maybe maybe we're getting too used to it you don't know Anyway, I'm boiling hot. I think I've got a, an ice lolly of some description in my freezer and I'm going to have it and I've got to take these jeans off because I'm sweltering. Did you see the bug? The bug at the end there? There's this bug, beetly buggy thing on my wall, which is huge. It's, it's about that big. So that's kind of cool. That's your nature fix today. Got myself into some uh, lighter trousers. Why I didn't wear those out in the first place, I'll never know. Let's go find something to... I was going to say let's go find something to suck on, but that is not what I meant. I meant an ice lolly. Now down here, I think it's this a, a smooth, all natural, gluten free, dairy free, no preservatives, vegan thing. I think it's coconut and mango. I've not had one of these before, but ages ago, and never had one, so I'm going to enjoy it now. There she blows. Cold on the teeth. Oh god, that's so good. So good. Mmm. That's well needed right now. I have got bananas that are going black. <laughs> so uh, I can't use them in pancakes anymore, they don't work. So I'm going to do a banana bread. Yay! We all love a banana bread in lockdown, don't we? So that's what I'm going to do. I am doing Delia Smith's banana bread from her complete cookery course. 
it's supposed to be banana and walnut loaf, but I don't have any walnuts. It's supposed to have orange peel and lemon peel rind. Haven't got any of that. So it's basically going to be banana bread with a little bit of vanilla essence in and I'm going to put some cardamom in because I love cardamom and I think it would go quite nicely with the old bananas. You might think this is a bit weird but it's, it's an all-in-one recipe so you just smash it all in a bowl. It's brilliant. this at the moment I'm going to add my um, vanilla essence and some cardamom and then I'm going to whack that into there mixy mixy whack it into there whack it into there Talks again. <laughs> I'm like a kid, kid in a candy store. And no, I don't mind about the raw egg. I used to do this as a child and it never killed me. There's the little baby. And she's gonna go in. She's gonna go in. Cookie, cookie. 180 degrees for 50 to 55 minutes. I have sat outside with my friend for a while, social distancing, three metres apart, two metres apart, and it's very nice. We had a, she had some wine, I had some gin, we had a chat, it was nice. My nana bread is out, quite chuffed. Look at that. <sighs> Smells incredible. Incredible. Mm. It is din dins now. And I'm having a really disappointing dinner, I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, it is going to be a... It's not disappointing because I do really like them, but it's lazy. One of these. One of my good life mushroom and spinach kievs. They're so nice. So I'm going to have one of those and some... Put the mess in the kitchen. <laughs> it's because I haven't cleared up. Uh, and some veg. And that's it. That's all I'm doing. Very boring. Very boring. I've got some leftover potatoes from last night, so I'll have those. And I think it's time Mr. Cauliflower got eaten. Well, my dinner is ready and I have to say it looks absolutely disgusting. <laughs> it is not my finest hour. I'm not proud of this at all. It's very beige, but I think it's going to be okay. We can't have fantastic dinners every night, can we? So there you have it the most horrible looking dinner ever uh, cauliflower with a bit of cheese melted on top just to cheer the, to cheer it up a bit leftover potatoes and my vegetarian kiev which is actually delicious and look it's got all this lovely goo that comes out of it so that's nice but uh yeah i, I think it'll be tastier than it looks don't hate me it's not instagram worthy it's not even worthy of showing you <laughs> let's focus on that instead Focus on the banana bread. I am currently transferring a film that I made onto a stick thing, whatever they're called, a memory stick, <laughs> and giving it to my next door neighbour because he's going to burn it onto a CD so that I can give it to my dad. I am useless at computers, absolutely useless with computers. Uh, a bit of a technophobe in general, so it's an absolute miracle that I can even do YouTube, to be honest with you. And I struggle sometimes even with that. Yeah, it was a film that I made when it was Dad's 80th last year. 
and we got him a really special birthday present. We, as a family, all chipped in together and got him a flight, supposed to be a flight in a in an aircraft called a de Havilland Devon. And it was um, supposed to fly alongside a Spitfire. But unfortunately, on the day, the de Havilland uh, had technical issues. So they used helicopters instead. And uh, actually, it turned out to be pretty good because the helicopter windows were huge. And my dad had never been in a helicopter. So it kind of killed two birds with one stone, if you like. So um, anyway, I made like a short video about it. And I never uploaded it onto YouTube because it's kind of a personal family thing. It's uploaded. It's ready to go. It just needs to be put live. It's pretty cool seeing a Spitfire flying and today VE day VE day would be quite a good memorial I think so I might do that why don't you let me know if you want to see it the banana bread's a winner it's very nice moist it's uh it's really delish I'm just making a sleepy tea nibbling on a bit of that and then I'm going to get into bed and uh, chill out for a bit. So I am going to be taking my tea to bed uh, with some squash and uh, getting a good night's sleep, hopefully. I am so thirsty in the night at the moment. I don't know what's the matter. I keep waking up and just gulping down liquid. Very odd, very odd. But there you go. That's what's happening. So I'm going to sign off. I completely missed the Queen's speech. I did watch it on Sky News afterwards, but I missed it live. But our streets are not empty. They are filled with the love and the care that we have for each other. But it was very moving. And um, I've seen lots of Facebook videos of people outside singing, we'll meet again. So unfortunately, nobody did that here. So... Will you please hello to the folks that I know? Then I will be long. They'll be happy to know that as you never go, I was singing this song. I missed that experience, but never mind. Never mind. So I'm going to sign off. Hope you're all well. Hope this vlog wasn't too dull for you. So I'm going to say good night. Good night. Speak to you.